Anyway, you asked me the question why the rabbit hole, my family for sure. Um, and a key piece of what, I, what I've taken away is we're born with the ability to have the uh, more, we are born to have more brain activity and, and communication internally. And as we grow up, it goes away. However, mm -hmm. it's still there. So there's this thing that the guy talks about called the default mode mechanism or no, the one second, I have it right here. Uh, b -b 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 default, default mode network, sorry, default mode mm -hmm. network. Uh, and that's what we all live in currently because we, you know, they said that saying think outside the box. Yeah. Well, that box is our default mode network. Okay. And you know, we use it with like, common things such as, you know, hey, we have to think outside the box, look at things through another angle. Well, do we actually have the ability to do that? In some cases, yeah, sure, probably. But when it comes to self-care and, and, and identity, n not really anymore. Uh, because like, you know, I I'll mention briefly about the ego. The ego is our troubleshooter. And we perceive ourselves to be who we are based off of what we're, of, of what we're told and who, uh, of, what, of who tells us who we are mm -hmm. or what tells us who we are. A gene, you're a black belt. Therefore, you you believe you are Gene the black belt. Or right. uh, that's just a silly example, right? You get the idea. Yeah. The reality is it's basically a, a false portrayal of us. It, it's our our ego is our troubleshooter that has us in a cage on a tugboat, and the tugboat is pulling us a direction. That's away from who we actually are. And I'm going to get ripped apart for saying that. And I'm perfectly fine with that. <laughs> I challenge people to listen to the uh, lectures of Alan Watts yeah. and uh, definitely Carl Jung. Cause like this shit is, it's super cool. And it's, it's very helpful to, for people to find this and, and back at that. Yeah. And that I'm going to get it right. <laughs> it's all flipped on my hands. I'm sorry. Right. But that, that's kind of the primary reason as to why the rabbit hole is now. Okay. At first, it was the first stage of positive psychology of finding the good life or the happy life. And I, I'm pretty sure it's the good life with you're forced to have a paradigm shift. And if you keep fighting the chaos that's been introduced to the paradigm that you're currently living, it's not worth it. And if you believe it to be worth it, you, you're going to lose everything. Let's... um. Let me say for anybody who's just sort of they grabbing this video, they haven't watched the, the part one, um, not necessarily a part one, part two, but uh, so Dan, and you correct me if I'm off base here, but you have been, uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to use the word experimenting, but it's a little deeper than that. You've been experimenting with, uh, uh, what, what do you want to call it? Psychedelics? I've been actively researching the effects of psychedelic on mental health and self-care. Yeah. And you've been doing it. To yourself, you've been utilizing it. I, I think you said you've been working with your wife. You're now going into it. I'm going to say semi-professionally, professionally. Um, yeah. I, I would strongly research. agree with that. <laughs> um, I mean, technically, it's not professional because I'm not hired by sure, some type sure. of de entity. But no, I, I don't fuck around, Gene. As you well know, like this yeah. is stuff that's very serious. I mean, even when it year, even back in college, when I was trying to understand pre-workouts i did a case study on myself for, and researched the ingredients of pre-workouts and <laughs> well no shocker here but the longer the list of ingredients the worse it is for you <laughs> makes sense no kidding um yeah I, what you said is is quite correct um i'm definitely awesome. researching it not recreationally i mean by definition recreationally using it but i'm not right it's, it's not to be like yo dog let's party like no this shit isn't used <laughs> to party this shit is used right to to, ex to enter your subconscious to help figure you out so let's and, let's set it up for anybody who's popping in for the first time uh right. how does that how does that work how does it do that for you so not for you but for you know for the you the the royal you i guess right uh <laughs> it's what they call a uh selective serotonin agonist uh so it's going to promote your ability to, in a sense, uh, get outside that box we mentioned earlier. Uh, mm -hmm. That 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 box we're so conformed to it, and it's it's a fear, an unrecognized and an internal fear to escape that box. And once 
once we kind of take a substance that helps us eliminate that box or, or the surrounding barriers of the box, which the literal the literal thing is through that default mode network is it, it actually shuts down a good amount of blood flow to that region and, and opens up other synaptic possibilities uh, that allows to suppress the sensation of like fear, terror, but however, you know, you talk about this, that you hear about the shit about like your know, bad trips and whatnot. Well, Right. The bad trips are just the experience in the subconscious. The more fucked up you've had or experiences you've had in your life, the more you're going to probably ex experience a terrifying uh. point within your uh, trip, if you will. Right. Uh, the trip is quite literally to your subconscious. And that's why there's often a sensation of, of you don't see colors, you feel them. And each color is set with a state of emotions within your mindset, within your well-being, your upbringing, et cetera, et cetera. So like, that's kind of layman's way of saying like it allows you to it allows your brain to go into a state of sleep while still being present. So you can travel this void of happiness, terror, contentment, whatever. To figure it out it doesn't matter if it's the most euphoric experience or the most terrifying experience is going to be a remarkably learning experience or a remarkable learned experience uh, or learning experience you're you're going to know so much about you and i believe in the video some of the, the dude talks about like some of the people in one study they, they equate the sensation of being as impactful as like a death in the family or a birth a wow. brand new baby being born to the family like immediate family um and that doesn't go away that sticks with you right uh so i, mean, I hope that's good enough way to yeah, explain that's a great the science explanation. behind it i mean i yeah. don't want to go too crazy with that like if we do the voice overlay or video overlay of the psychedelic video and chat about that like that'll hit a lot on what you just asked got you